Adidas Samraj says, to me, the non-humans are the same as human beings in the ultimate sense, they are the same. I don't imagine them being lowly or separate or different in any sense whatsoever. And that's what you should realize when you go to Fear No More Zoo. It's about fearing no more, about going beyond the knot of separate self, being in the condition of God communion. The species of black and white colobus come from Africa. It's said to live in mountainous areas, along river banks, in high forests. And they're a species that uh, are very peaceable. It's generally one male to every four or five, I guess, females. And they live in troops. first saw them, they had certain characteristics that were very obvious, and one of them was their touching rituals between them. They touch each other all the time. They hug each other. They're in constant communication, and yet they very rarely make any sounds at all. They hardly talk at all. They make some barking sounds. Males will make a sound. BB, the female, the oldest one here, will sometimes if she hears dogs barking. But for the most part, they're very quiet. They're absolutely silent, in fact. And yet they have these profound forms of communication that you can learn if you simply enter into relationship with them. And that's what Adiba taught us to do, simply feel into the moment, feel into the nature of these beings without any mind to say that they are a monkey or a certain species and all of that. Just simply feel into their nature. And you begin to recognize very clearly that they are completely conscious, completely aware, and aware of you in a very direct way and fully capable of communicating to their faces, to their feelings, to their body language. And you enter into that non-human world. Perhaps that is why in Africa these particular species of monkeys are sometimes referred to as sky gods. They have tremendous leaping ability. They can leap 20, 25 feet, some of them. And you see them flying from one branch to another and these magnificent white coats flying in the air, and these long white tails. And when you see groups of black and white colonists together, it's a very extraordinary vision, all these black and white, beautiful creatures moving through the trees. So they're a beautiful species, and a very peaceful species.